Hi everyone, this is Glenda Ganzon and welcome to my channel. And today I'm in the beach. As you can see my background. <laughs> no guys, I'm just kidding. I'm not in the beach really, but this is just my virtual background. And for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a virtual background even without a green screen. This virtual background can be used in Google Meet. Whenever you have a webinar, a conference, meeting, or you're having an online class. So, how did I do this? Please watch this video until the end and I'll be showing you what application did I use to make my virtual background in my Google Meet. Stay tuned! Actually guys, this is just my background. I don't have a green screen. As you can see, my background is so dull and it's so boring. So whenever I'm having a video recording, I always use this background until I found out that I can do better. I can change my background and I can have a virtual background even without a green screen. So what did I use? What application did I use? It's so simple. I use a snap camera. Disclaimer guys, I'm not being paid by a snap company, snap camera company. I'm just sharing this video because I want to share my great experience with this kind of camera that you can use with your webinar, whatever you're in. Google Meet, having webinar, having a meeting, having an online class, or whatever you do in Google Meet. And one thing more is you can use this camera together with its virtual background whenever you're in OBS, having a live stream in YouTube, in, in your Facebook page, or whatever platforms you're in. So let's jump in to my computer so that I can show you how to download this and how to use it. And later on, I'll be showing you how to use it in your Google Meet. All you need to do, guys, is to download a Snap Camera application by searching it in the Google Chrome. Let's go ahead and type Snap Camera. And let's just click this Snap Camera download. So if you can see this, let's click it and just click download. So we've already downloaded the snap camera. Let's go ahead and open it. But before that, guys, I need to close my camera to change it to snap camera. I've already downloaded the snap camera. Let's go ahead and open it so that we can see okay this is the view or this is the open camera there are a lot of virtual background that we may choose from let's try to choose another one so all you need to do is just look here for the background that you want to make if you want to have another background let's go ahead and try to look for another background by just clicking here in this portion we just need to change this bit here and for example you want an office background so let's just go ahead and click office and it will give you a lot of choices for this background let's try to open one It just takes some time for it to open because of my signal. So as you can see, I'm in the office. It is good for like having a webinar or a meeting with, you know, professional, having a professional conferences. You can have this background. But if you're just having a casual meeting, you can have like beach or other background. Let's try to see another background. Let's try to open one. I Some of these backgrounds cannot be seen right away, but you have to patiently open them one by one to see what really these backgrounds are. Oh, so it's nice. It's an empty office. But as you can see, there is just a glitch with this background since 
we're not using a green screen so my hand cannot be seen whenever I raise it here what you can see is just my face and my body and one more thing if you're having this virtual background they say that you shouldn't use a green blouse or a shirt because what can be seen in your video will just be your face if you wear a green shirt or a green blouse your body will be transparent so you should use a dark shirt but for me i use light just to see if it looks well on this background on this virtual background or well as i can see it's good another is let's try to look for another background this time let's try a home background just they're just four choices for your own background here so let's try to open one okay so this is a home background it's like i'm in the library or a study room in this it's good it's so colorful and you can use this you can choose this background for your online class now we will try to open our google meet to see how you set your virtual background whenever you are having a meeting a conference or an online class in the google meet we'll go ahead and open our google meet here then i'll go ahead and click this plus sign here join or start the meeting and i'll just click continue now i'm joining a meeting and again i'll be clicking this join now i'll just close this one so as you can see this is me talking here how can we put our snap camera in this google meet from the lower right portion of your screen let's go ahead and click this three dots here and click settings we're all good with this microphone now let's go ahead and click this video to set the installed plugins so i'll be clicking this camera and i'll be clicking snap camera and click done now guys i'm now here in my google meet and i'll be having my online class or whatever online meeting online webinar and it's good to see this background behind me it's so classy i look like i'm in the library or i look like i'm in the study room and it's good that you can choose this background for that kind of meeting online class or whatsoever and there is still a lot of virtual background to choose from the snap camera i hope you like this video guys and i hope you've learned a lot from this video and and if you have any questions suggestions ideas please just comment down below in the comment box also if you are not yet subscribed to my channel please do consider subscribing click the notification button so that you'll be updated with my new videos if you like this video please share and like once again, thank you very much for watching and until my next video, bye everyone!